welcome back to my new lecture of control engineering so dear friends hope you are all doing well as in the previous lecture we have discussed one problem on the block uh, block diagram reduction so let us take another example more number of problems if you practice so you will be perfect my dear friends so you have to practice at least eight or ten examples from this particular topic as in the video examination 10 marks question will be definitely on this topic so reduce the block diagram using block diagram reduction technique and obtain control ratio or transfer function which is denoted by the c of s upon r of s okay let's take this diagram this is a summing point this is forward path g1 this is g2 g3 uh, and one summing point and feedback feedback path here h1 and this is output c of s now how to reduce it there are seven rules as in the uh, second lecture probably i have uh, just uh, told you about the rules uh, right so you have to remember those rules <clears throat> until you don't know the rules over there you cannot proceed the reduction of block diagrams okay so you have to remember those rules so uh, by those rules by applying those rules in these type of problems you can easily uh, reduce it okay so first of all rewrite the given figure and name the takeoff points so takeoff point is here one and here is another one so i will just name it i will rewrite the diagram whole diagram as same as it is so summing point g1 this is takeoff point i am writing it as t1 this is uh, another takeoff point that is t2 summing point rest of the diagram is same okay so i cannot uh, say these two are in parallel why just because there are two takeoff points condition should be there should be only one summing point and sorry one summing point and one takeoff point then only i can combine these blocks in the parallel but here i am observing there are two takeoff points so it is not possible uh, to combine these first of all let me shift this uh, takeoff point behind the block as in the rule itself when we are shifting this takeoff point behind the block then you have to add the block value that is g2 i have to add with this feedback line okay so in the uh, uh, second setup it itself i have written here shift the takeoff point t2 that is t2 behind the g2 so behind the block so uh, see here this is g3 g3 and g2 here then t2 uh, is shifting backwards so t2 is here now okay i am shifting it behind the block so what to do i have to add this block value that is g2 value i have to add with the feedback uh, line okay then that g2 value is in series with h1 okay so whenever the blocks are in series we are just multiplying multiplying it okay so h1 into g2 i am uh, adding g2 block value here so i have written here h1 g2 okay this is your diagram and summing point rest of the things will be same i have just uh, uh, one move here taken one move that is shifting take off point behind the block so uh, here is the t uh, t2 now this is t1 g3 g2 rest of the diagram is whole same over here now if you are observing in this particular diagram now so one uh, takeoff point and one summing point so these two blocks are now can we can say that these are in parallel so you can combine easily these two blocks whenever you are combining the blocks in the parallel uh, then you have to add them okay so step third combine blocks in parallel so this is summing point this is g1 is same h1 g2 is same here this is takeoff point okay and this is now uh, g3 g2 are in parallel so g2 plus g3 will be your one block here okay so it gets reduced this is the output function now if you are observing my dear friends this is the minor loop or canonical form in the previous video i have mentioned that what does the canonical form mean mean so this is uh, summing point and one takeoff point and forward path and feedback path when this is the case when this is the canonical form so you have to eliminate this il uh, minor loop by uh, what we call as indulging the formula in it so uh, r of s is equal to this uh, when you are combining these two as it is the minor loop so you have to uh, what we call write down the formula that is c of s upon uh, what we call c of s upon r of s which is equal to g of s okay divided by 1 plus g of s r of s over here okay so let us introduce this formula here now g of s means g of 1 here so i have written here g1 upon 1 plus formula g of s g of s means g1 so g1 then uh, sorry r of s not here h of s it is the h of s that is feedback path so h of s is this term h1 g2 so h1 g2 i have written here so this is your eliminating minor loop uh, by introducing the formula then rest of the things will remain same g2 plus g3 it will remain same and uh, cs that is it uh, output okay so up to this this is the 
easier one then uh, these two blocks are in series now if you are observing these two are in series whenever the blocks are in series <clears throat> when you combine these two you have to multiply these two blocks okay simply multiplication so i will get g1 g2 plus g3 uh, that is combine blocks in series so g1 g2 plus g3 g1 upon 1 plus g1 g2 h1 so right see here first my dear friends first see here this is g1 and 1 plus uh, g1 uh, h1 g2 okay i am multiplying it with this term so g1 into g2 is g1 g2 this is your okay so it is comfortable g1 g2 plus g3 into g1 i am getting here g1 into g3 that is what i have written in that particular step okay uh, divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 now this is your whole function transfer function you can write down transfer function is equal to c of s upon r of s which is equal to this term g1 g2 and plus g3 g1 uh, divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 so this is your whole problem my dear friends so this uh, in the next lecture we will solve another problem over here okay thank you